So without further ado, this is the masterpiece from EMP Lemon. Uh, there will never ever be another melee player like Hungerbox, which is not only a, a good uh, uh, look into my life, but into melee as a whole. So uh, here we go, share it around, and uh, we're going to do this ad-free. No ads played the entire time, um, and we're just going to enjoy it. This is a gift for, from us to you, so here we go. It's April 21st, 2019. You, Competitors and spectators have gathered in Laurel, Pound. Maryland for the yes. Pound 2019 you tournament. Told me Today we visit the meeting of two players competing the under the aliases incident. of Mango that and Hungrybox. They're sitting, playing Super Smash Bros. Melee, a video game released in 2001 Watching for the Nintendo GameCube. I Despite the age Box. of the game, As this event has managed to attract bracket. a live audience of a few hundred Only spectators and upwards of 70,000 viewers tuning in from around the world. Of Today the is Championship Sunday. After battling win. past the rest of the I competition, the, the top 12 players are competing history. for the title of this year's <laughs> Pound Champion. And I, I, did, I, did, I did fight Mango uh, this tournament. You know, he was, he was actually on fire. He was doing really well, and, uh, you know, he... Uh, we, I had been on a winning streak with him, but this tournament in winners he got right here in the street on FOB. He popped off and he, he played it really well. It was it was Since like this uh, is a double elimination tournament. And Hungry I went outside Fox and I got sad. Down to the losers bracket mm. where he now has to face S2J. Man, it's hard the loser of this set will be out of the tournament. I can't imagine what place. it's like to. Uh, I can't imagine what's like to be in like the competitive mindset because I've never like competed in anything at like a high level. Obviously, YouTube, that's all just completely qualitative, subjective content. But what you're doing is like, it, it's hard. Winners and losers, there's like a black and whiteness about just competing in anything where, God, it, it's got to be like tough right. to and, lose. And uh, so we're going to do it. I'll, I'll mute the audio while we're talking and then certain points I'll leave it on. But um, in, the, in this case, to do this losers run, uh, you know, Johnny, Zane, I believe it's Puppins and Mango. It reminded me of Evo a good bit, but once I, once I win one, I can kind of just keep going and, and go on a rush, so. That's interesting, because I set this, I set up this part as, like, sort of a motif that sort of mirrors the Evo run. Right. Obviously, uh, you can't, like, plan any of this out. It just, Once like, again, happens. Hungry you Box have to wins, take eliminating the existing, uh, third. The existing After history defeating that's everyone happened, in the loser's bracket, Hungry Box is only one competitor left to face. Than the sum of its Mango, gotcha. the player who sent him down there in the first place. No need for a mute, just pause it. Okay, so we'll, we'll let parts play and then we'll pause it. The comments on it. <laughs> Rest of and I ain't no melee expert, so I, can, I can't like commentate on the specific gameplay at all. I feel like barely played it. I didn't even have any. It's not, it's not too hard, you know, you just can always... Hey, I'm a, I'm a sports fan, watch it. You know? Sports okay. fans, sports viewers. Right. Melee is probably as compelling as any sport I've ever watched on TV. So, it's just engrossing. I really got into it. And hopefully, uh, the Emperor's clothes are on right now. Yeah, able to make a good product and kind of In their second them. encounter of the tournament, mm -hmm. right. Hungry Box defeats Mango three games. Like, I know it's tough for all of communities because I'm like a total outsider to this community, where I've never like interacted with anyone. So for me to like come in as like a big, semi big channel, and sort of like drop a drop a video like this where it's kind of like very structured and it has a lot to say. Uh, I'm gonna lie, right when I uploaded this video, I was <laughs> very anxious with, like, what the reaction would be, like, oh, did I go too far? Um, is this not what the community would like? Right. But, it, honestly, it, it, it did a great job of explaining a lot of things, and people were really happy with it. Yeah, when, when, uh, when that started happening, when I, when I got the reset, usually when I get a reset, I, like, super power up, and I, and I go through the, the whole event, and it's just, like, it, I don't know, it just, like... When I, when I get a reset, I feel like I'm guaranteed to win the event because no one, when I when I play Puff, I kind of bleed people out. Um, someone's asking, how long did it take to make the video? This video took around maybe two and a half, three weeks for writing and research and to finalize the script. And then um, probably like 12, 14 hours to record the audio because this was a 10,000 word script. This is the longest script I've ever made for a YouTube video. And right. Probably like to this point, Same the longest here. thing I've written ever. 
the celebration he earned in front of the and then it took like after around forty five days victory right hungry maybe Bucks not forty five like thirty in front days of the stunned crowd to, but unfortunately for him the, the celebration he earned is about to be cut very mm -hmm. so very this was probably short. The Biggest box. box. What is, is the that? champion? What is that? Oh, Once again. What is that? What is he holding? I'm not sure what that is in his hand. So is, is it true that someone tweeted that out? Yeah, so. Before. Who threw this at me? You said someone threw that at him? Someone just because Whoa. Hungrybox won? So just 10 seconds after his victory, a disgruntled <laughs> spectator it. throws a raw crab so at Hungrybox, the, narrowly the missing his head. Part was in a matter of seconds, Hungrybox is transformed out, like, from the most joyful the guy person in the a crab. arena. To the most miserable. So it was like a most whole people crime don't care scene that, that much about out. video games, but some people do. Out of these people, Same most man. don't care about competitive gaming, but some do. And for all the esports out there, most spectators don't care about watching a 19-year-old like, game. Like this but still, ever happened some do. In like a competitive and out of those few people, event. surely, in, in, in no one cares enough event? about the outcome uh, of the match to throw a raw. No, I think it's the first time it's ever happened. But on this wow. day in Laurel, Maryland, someone did. As far as I know, this is the only time something like this has ever happened in the history of competitive video games. But if it was... Would have, would have heard about it if it was something else. Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, this went on every single like media show. This, this went on... This went around the internet. Um, pretty... Pretty, 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 pretty hard. So for the H fan, those of you who aren't Emperor Lemon fans, this was... The Hungrybox documentary was a just the fifth episode of a series I run on my channel called Never Ever. And I guess for now, I'd say the thesis statement sort of of the series is sort of a celebration of individual achievement. But it also, um, I also like to kind of delve more into thematic aspects about the human condition and what stories like this really say about us. I'm sorry if it sounds a little pretentious, but no, no, that's dude. kind of that's kind of what I think about with this with this series. So, yeah, this, you are the fifth, the fifth person I talked you, about. You did SpongeBob, Dale Earnhardt. Um, what else do you do? Uh, Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw. And then uh, Stanislav Petrov, who is the um, Soviet officer who is credited with preventing a nuclear oh. catastrophe. So, so basically, I'm gonna I'm, obviously I'm not gonna tell you what else is working on, but just to know that this guy picks the best topics to make videos on, and I freaking love seeing them. 2D has Ness been good era. in like any Smash And he game? accomplished this with the game's Ness fundamental has been, objective. Ness is good in... In standard fighting games, in, players damage each other Ultimate's to deplete a health bar, and you win the I game see. by lowering your opponent's health instead of prioritizing complex you like 64? button combination. 64 to me is a, it's a good game, but like, it's, it's like, it's, it just shows like, it's like the, the basic roots, right? It shows yeah. what, it can be so much more than that, but the right. top level 64 is, is a delight to watch, like it's so sick. And precise it's precise spacing. Right. Smash plays Sakurai the most is, importantly, he's a perfectionist, a game that's very hard to figure but out. it, it sometimes that backfires, you know? Mainly as a whole is a game about forward. perfection. And while yeah. Smash you know, all 64 the Fox a lot out of there, ideas to they're the all table, about the concept frame perfect. wouldn't realize it's epic Mailer Mess Future. Dude, there's a there's video footage of the game like first being shown. So. It seems as if Super I'm sorry, Smash Brothers, Brothers like the Melee one has always been in a race superior. against time, going all the way back to its development. After the success of Smash 64, Sakurai was tasked with developing its sequel in time for the debut of Nintendo's yeah, new console, the GameCube, giving the team at HAL Laboratory just 13 months to complete its most. Now, I'm not sure if this was the actual yet. time that they spent working on the game because I couldn't find a lot of stuff about that but i'm gonna assume i assume that it's like they spent the 13 months leading up to the release of the game yeah because it's it's known that the point is that they made this entire game in 13 months like from scratch on like an entirely new engine for an entirely new console they, they went hard as f in the paint to make this the rapid pace of the game contributed to incredibly Epic dynamic right and unpredictable <laughs> combat oh it's so it really offers the player an immense oh, degree of control even more over their character dude our mod is such a Sakurai described Melee as the sharpest in the series. Did you and Emblem know each other? Uh, no. He just messaged me and he's like, I'm making a doc. I had no idea he was a big YouTuber, though. <laughs> Combined with Melee's already well, fast game product play, ended up how it these did, techniques you know? were yeah. able to transform an already good game into a masterpiece. <laughs> I love that, dude, love dude, that part right dude. there. These right here, these montages are so sick. This reminds me of, like, early Melee. Dude, it was so fun. Looking Super back Smash at old Melee, melee footage, was, without a doubt, it really is. There's a lot of stuff uploaded to, I think, uh, 
but it's waffles. unique. But can oh yeah, set the foundation like, for one of the greatest competitive Because back then there was like no VG bootcamp, no the discovery VGS, of such Smash, advanced tactics and would push the, game's the only archival footage was just anyone the community took it upon itself. Right, we, we, we just released, made it our own. Local uh, melee to. tournaments began to spring up everywhere. Dude, Dude look at like Mario games, updated. Link got that nice rustic color. In the Pikachu and then Kirby. I don't know why they chose Kirby of all characters. It's he looks almost worse. I never understood that this trailer. This, this should have been a sign. After this trailer, we all should have been like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> this might not be." Oh no! Like, like Mario's the expectations, <laughs> Kirby's the reality. Uh, that, that's why it was so funny. Okay, before we get into brawl here, I think now would be a good time to explain sort of my relationship with Smash. So, never had a GameCube as a kid. So. This entire documentary is based on a game that I've barely played. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was my first Smash game, and I did not like it. I did not like... I, I guess it's just like it didn't feel... Um, it didn't really feel fun to play right. or to fight. And this is coming from someone with like no prior Smash experience. This is like Cold Turkey, first time playing Smash. I just found it... Because I'd fight my brother, I just found it like really frustrating. Where like Obviously, I was bad, but... It seemed like there was very little I could do to, like, um, I don't know, I guess cheese wins. Right. Which is weird because this is considered, like, the casual game. Oh, God. Tripping. Oh, <laughs> dude! I see, this is the meta. I see the meta that was a whole meta. Needless to say, the sluggish yeah, but, pace um, of Brawl was a drastic change from so the fast-paced precision of I, Melee. I, it made me, like, so not like Smash. I, felt that I didn't play Smash for probably ten years after we got Brawl in, like, 08 or 09 on the Wii. And, um, it was only after, um, one of my friends, he, uh, he w got into Melee, I think after seeing the documentary, and he downloaded, like, 20XX emulator on his computer, and, um, I just started playing his house one time, and playing the different characters, Right. I'm like, oh, wow, it's, like, really hard, I'm like, wow, these characters are really hard to control, but this game just feels more fun. Yeah. And Melee's ironically, uh, execution like my friend played Marth, and I just kept cycling play. through the characters and, he worked and to make the getting destroyed. More simple and, and then for new I picked players. up Jigglypuff because I remembered oh, in no. my head Hungrybox, fellow UF Gator, top the school which I was attending at the time. One year after and I think this was like after you won Evo. Ken would return to the and like, of Evo gotta, Brawl, gotta pick up Puff. He would be if he can do it, maybe I can do it. And that was like only the, the only time I could be competitive no with my friend <laughs> when he was playing Mars. Like all the other characters, just like Fox, I just SD four times in a match. The tournament Same thing with like Pikachu a and the other ones. By the Dude, so this is a true thing, man. This kid's CPU goes to Evo, goes to Evo and just wrecks everyone with all this including ken with rob and this kid this he just dropped off the earth he never came back the comments on this video are really interesting to read it's like a time capsule of yeah how people felt about the game at the time green simpsons so you are one of like the few remaining players who was active during this era right like largely lately there's been a shift where a lot of the new top players they're like what's referred to as doc kids correct doc kids are a thing yeah. they only got into melee after the documentary so they weren't around for any of this. Well, of course, neither was I. And I, I just did the best I could to Co research. Corneria. Corneria, rest in peace. That's PPMD right there. Corneria. New era. The new era, yeah. New Feels friend. good. Feels good to be in it. Dude, I wish I was in this picture. So Why am I not in this picture? There's it's, only like two pictures ever of the five gods together. Or one. It's thematically relevant yeah. for the rest of the video, though. When he was both the best in Brawl and Melee, you know how, you know how hard it is? This is fine. I'm gonna leave it as is, guys. It's probably like the two most different Smash games, right? Right. The fact that this guy became the best in the world with Falco is—it really is special. Like no one else has done that before. This is like the only JV5 or, I've ever seen in since. Melee. He JV5. This guy wasn't bad. This guy was ranked in Georgia. I'm pretty sure. Like, how? How do you JV5? That's JV5 of a competent player. It's just in, with Falco. With Falco. Now that we've introduced I guess he didn't get hit. 
uh, Bobby Scar eventually, uh, I think he, qu he tweeted me saying like, we don't know who, are you sure there's no one who so, could have come up with it? So Bobby Bobby Scar was the guy who coined, coined Five Gods? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what, he, that's what he says. Dude, and you know what's crazy right now? The rankings right now, hacks, if you look... If you were to, it's it's a stupid thing to look at, but pretend no tournaments ever happened before 2020, right? Yeah. If you look only at 2020 tournaments, Fiction is top five in the world right now, and Hacks Money technically is fourth, I believe. Holy like if you look just at 2020 results, it's the Hacks hard. comeback is incredible. I did them dirty in the yeah. documentary. I <laughs> I just do like constant footage of him getting owned in this part, but oh yeah. In the second game, I'm sorry, nothing against Hatch, but this is just like to show at the time, back, back at when the time, how he was the number six player in the world. So what, to what extent do you agree with this uh, this assessment? Like red is like unwinnable. Okay. Yellow is like, eh. And Dr. Dr. Mario's. You could like win. A, you can win like a local or like a regional or something. Uh, I agree. Yeah, the plumbers are all yellow. Mario, yeah, Bowser, Ness, Pichu, is just. Such hot garbage. I think people are leaning towards Game & Watch and Mewtwo slightly. That's, maybe, that's maybe, 20XX right there. Maybe one day, because Leffen's show with Mewtwo can actually do pretty good. Um, Game & Watch with Curb, like, the, these are, you know, they, they have reps. But Roy, yeah, Zelda, yeah. And Icy's, yeah, and the green, and I think on a good day, any of the green coin of tournament, even Pikachu, uh, even Icy's. Well, Pikachu has. Well, oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. And Icy's almost did with wobbling, with wobbles. All right. And Hugs almost won the first Evo. Hugs almost did win. Almost, Duck almost won DreamHack. E three owed me. I think. I think right now. And I always will say this. It goes. Fox is the best. Clearly, Marth is the second best. Clearly. Uh, very close to Fox. Maybe closer and closer to Fox each day. Um, the, I I I subscribe. I subscribe to the idea that Falco is actually the third best character um, when you play him really, really fast and aggressively and well. Didn't Mewtwo King originally say in one of his tier lists I think that Puffer, Falco was the best? Uh, yeah, we, people I, actually believe Falco was the best. I think he, I think he's since but gone it, back. But on obviously, that. yeah, uh, and I, th I think Puff, Puff is fourth likely, uh, or Sheik. Puff or Sheik tied for fourth, fifth Sheik, and then sixth right now would be Falcon. Uh, and seventh would be, I think seventh is Peach, and eighth I don't think is Icy. I think eighth is actually, it could be anyone between Pikachu, Yoshi, or Samus, hmm. and I think Icy might be ninth with no wobbling. I mean, choosing instead was it unexpected? I I don't know. I'm, about I'm gonna that. say this. I think this is by far the smartest thing he could have done. He he's just like. He got rank one with Puff back in the day, but with a changing meta, there's no way. Like, you have to play more defense. You see how I play. Like, I have to play a certain way to win tournaments. Mango could have never done that, but he could do the amazing things he did with Fox and Falco. He was meant to play Fox and Falco. It's very right? interesting how the tools are, like, all there. Yeah. But it's, like, the mentality of the player that can truly bring out the true skill of a character. Right. This is the potential. This is what Hacks Money sees Dude, when he envisions Fox gameplay. That's I think this is why Melee is so timeless, like any real sport. Melee is like it's like an analog game, you know? No one will ever, ever play this game perfect because our fingers don't move that fast. But the, the rush is seeing how close we can get to perfection, right? That's the best part. What's, yeah. What's your opinion on this set? Because I remember this was controversial last year. When I saw this and everyone started just like shit talking and doing this, look... You, Puff can destroy, even with wobbling. Puff can destroy ICs without needing to time it out. However, on certain stages, on certain stages, I will say, like Pokemon Stadium, it's in her favor. But mm -hmm. on this, not really. You can use Rising Pound on, and they have no really answer to the Unshield. There's of course, of this will come up in the video later. But you... Bob Camp get to five. Hold on, I'm sorry. Holy shit! Press B for Bob Camp. We're almost at the goal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But you haven't lost to an Ice Climbers in tournament in, since EVO 2013, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I have not lost to an Ice Season in any set since Wobbles. Wow. And before Wobbles, I had only lost to, I think, Fly Amanita. Mewtwo King camping in Brawl right there. 
is a little pink blemish. Dude, this, this is, is how people, like, if you read how people talk about Puff Bailey's in Melee blemish. forms, this is, like, how they feel. The well, I'll always say is this, and, I, and I'll, I'll never, I'll never remark on this again in the set, because it is, it, it's in the past, that's what it is. Um, apart from the rule set switch, the main reason that got to me is because I actually don't, I actually play sets. Uh, in other words, I'll switch my playstyle on purpose, depending on what game in a set I am. And in a best of five, especially on the difference between a game three or four, I shift things radically. So, because I lost this game three, I was prepared to go into game four and play a style akin to game one, which was super effective. What happened in two and three is, I started taking more risks because I was up, and then that backfired. And that's one of the reasons you'll see me win a lot of game fives. Me, me and Fiction mm -hmm. had a discussion, actually. Fiction said, oh, you're sandbagging on purpose on certain games. Like, no, no, no. I just take more risks. But sometimes risk pay off. But if I have the insurance of having an extra game up, playing a best of five is like that. Anyways, long story short, by switching and telling me it's a best of three versus best of five, huge, huge difference in how mm -hmm. I approach a matchup. Wow. It's like poker. You you take calculated risks based upon whether you're up and down and position. But in melee, there's no C position. There's set position. So is that the bubble theory? That's just that's oh. just the surface. I'm sorry. That's the that's the surface of the bubble. Yeah, I'm here with, I'm here at the Hungry Box crib. That's, that's, I recently found the vault with a secret formula. That's that's the surface. Revealing of the bubble theory. So now I can use bubble theory on YouTube yeah. to make myself better, but Bubbles it's are not, all, it's not for public consumption. Bubbles are, it's are too powerful. Bubbles are all surface. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like looking at it's like in Indiana Jones where they look at the arc. If like you're not prepared, your face is gonna melt off when you see bubble theory. If you're unfamiliar, this was to this day, to this day, uh, in my, like the most uh, the most unfair treatment I've ever received at a tournament ever. Wow. Ever. Even more than the crowd. I'll say this again because Melee is not an Evo and won't be again, so fuck it. This is a true story. Ready for this true story? Oh, shit. You're Mr. Wizard, right? I walk off the stage, biting my lip, my fist like this, just raging, like right? Ar like Arthur. Not Yeah, like Arthur. I was pulling the author. And I was raging, but I knew I had to not make a scene because... It was more important for Melee to be there and for it to look good. So I went and I, I was going to sit down and just breathe for a second. And I saw Mr. Wizard. I pull out my phone, go to the Smash Sports thread, and I did like this to his face. And I said, this is the post right here where you said all finals, lose finals, grand finals, winners finals, will all be best of five. It's in this post. And you, you know what he said to me? What? Well, you should have asked me. I walked away. Huh. And that, that's when I that's when I knew that's when I knew I don't think Evo really cared about melee. That's it's, crazy, it's, man. it's just this is a true story. Damn. There's a principle to it. If he had at least said, if he had at least just told me there was a miscommunication and I apologize, but we had to do it for time. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that happened. If he just said I'm sorry that happened, I would have just wanted that. No, he was just I just I would, I, I would have felt it was a little better. He just but, no, He just said no. Should have asked me. I wrote this because um, I was in I was in thermodynamics at UF during a lecture, and I get a message from three of my friends, three different friends messaged me. This is a true story on Facebook, and they all said, "Yo, Mango's shit talking to you in his AMA. He's disrespecting you." And I, because I heard it from people and I saw it, and I was so already mad at the Evo situation, I just I snapped. I snapped and I wrote this post. So how um, many days after Evo was this? Um, this was, I think a month after Evo, maybe? I a see. And like, uh, and I meant all this. I just was really, really pissed at him because I feel like I was getting respected. And then he did a response too. And then he, we were both being pretty childish um, at the moment. What can we expect for the next Never Ever? Um, it's, I, I don't want to disclose it because I like... Secrets! I like surprising people. Bubble theory. I like surprising people. Yeah. Um, but I, this was necessary. This happened because this was me making my stand... Mango making his stand, showing the community where we're at, and then us both having to grow as people afterwards. We actually sat down together during... Oh, people don't really know this. We had a meeting over Skype with, like, me, him, Skype. and six moderators. Moderators from, from what? To make sure things didn't get heated because we had oh. to settle this because we were community leaders. Oh, um, It was like Scar and some others. And we just, we, for an hour, we just talked this through and tried to see where we were at. Um, but... At the same time, I could have handled this better. He could have handled it better. 
Uh, we changed a lot since this moment, but this was like, this sort of showed you like the, the boiling point. Soon after, things got better. It didn't take that, that much longer. Now the Armada, Armada Young Link. Oh, God. That was just a phase of your career, wasn't the it? Jung, wow. the, the, it's the Jung Link right there, dude. That Young Link. This rest, I... You know how scary this rest was? I was seated, uh, like, fifth this tournament, and PPMD was seated first, or whatever. This was, this was, like, after PPMD. Or was this before or after PPMD had that game where, like... Four stocked Fuck packs you. in like 68 seconds. And then I finally beat Armada's Young Link there. Finally. That was like kind of the end of an era. I don't think he brought yeah. Young Link so anymore even, after that, did Even he? right here, I'm cheesing so hard I'm smiling. So I'm just proud of the guy. I'm just like, you got the you got, you got the, the, the double Evo win. I think that was the second one, right? Yeah. 2013 Mango, 2020 Hbox. <laughs> okay, how do you... How did this even happen? Wait, wait, which one is this? Don't... It's like... Uh, so right here, he start yeah he started taunting me right here, and dude. So if you guys want to know how hard, go ahead and play against a, a fox at your level. Put yourself at one stock seventy eight percent, and then put your opponent at three stock one thirty five. Except make that fox left him. Uh, he was taunting, and I realized right here. You know, I actually have won lots of these. It takes one hit to kill him, and then it's literally two outplays. Two outplays wins me the game. Much like his in -game That's like a top five Hbox. Hbox. A so top right there. when I like punch shit and throw stuff down, it's none of this is like is like acting. I want you to know this. Like, I literally just like have unhealthy ways of releasing my tension during a set, and I rest in peace to obviously. This seems like, seem like a bomb defusal. It's like the most stressful yeah. thing in the world. Some of these grand finals. I, I've said it before, but one of the reasons I've done well is because I do treat it like life or death. I, I literally put it in my head that I'm gonna get killed if I lose a set. So it's like that. That's why. It's like, it's like ultra relief. Oh, dude. This right here. If you want to know the, the moment I was saltiest ever on camera without saying anything, it's right here. <laughs> Mango. Okay. Mango, like, four stocked me almost in the crew battle. I barely beat him. And then the entire crowd started singing happy birthday because it was my birthday. Oh my god. Well, I, this I, didn't so know, I, didn't, I didn't know that. This part. was like when the rivalry was bitter. And they all started saying happy birthday. This was like... That's harsh. Oh, I, oh, That's I was harsh, man. so mad. So this is like worse than Evo, worse than the crowd. Oh yeah, that was the worst. This was the worst. This was goatee box. This wow. Was, this was not even my final form. But just like as a, as a mentality thing, that's gotta be... <laughs> that's gotta be... I was being such a douche here, dude. <laughs> This, I, this but, is your hometown crowd. Though, the, the, right that, that was the first time Orlando had. I, I had never heard Orlando cheer for me that loud ever, and so I was, I was, I was enjoying it. Where I say Armada's Fox is different. Like to what extent is that true? Where, because at this time you were kind of figuring out Mango and Lethin a little bit, but then Armada came along. There was like, after he switched to Fox. Yeah. it was like his Fox was. Dominant. It was unlike anything I've ever played. It was like the biggest brick wall you've ever seen with Fox. It was in, it was wild. Oh yeah, the, the douchey sunglasses there. This is probably my favorite. Hbox W in the chat, please. This is my favorite montage of the whole video. <laughs> now, how much of Heal Hungry Box is like? Was you playing it up, and how much was it just? Um, it was a little bit of both. Like I, I wanted to have fun with it because I was also like. People were already super like just not. That set, that pop up there is like oh, a yeah. top two. I don't, I don't think I show it. It's a this, messy pop up. I, I don't recall if I show in this video. This is a pivotal moment right so, here. I, I, I sectioned this off. It's just like so the crazy, the crazy thing. part about this is if if I didn't own up to the heel, I would have lost this tournament, and Mango probably would have beaten me for the rest of time, and I would have probably faded into obscurity. But because I played the heel, and I was already already, I knew my game plan going in. I said. Basically, I can't beat this guy toe-to-toe, -to -toe, so I'm gonna go to the lead and see what happens. And it oh, worked a little... Shit. Yeah. Obviously, that's, and then, a, yeah, that's I was, a hot button issue these days. This editing is good. Thank you, Koopa is crazy. Tier 1 raw sub. Basically, I all these losses were going through my head when this happened. And I was down 1-0, right? And I said, the only way I win this, I, I can't stand the ledge. So I have to go in here, which I did. And then he uh, jabbed me, and I crouch canceled his jab. What's this? Donation. That was very synced right there. Oh, $35! Damn. From Waffles R Us. Let me get a 35 in the chat. Thank you. $35. Let's fucking go. 
the whole ass meal tonight. It's the whole ass dinner. So, this like this tournament, this win right here, uh, yeah. Paragon 2015. This is and a huge then turning point. Dreamhack 2015. I kind of like pinpointed those as sort of the main turning points in kind of your entire career. Yeah. That's like right when you're starting to go over the crest of the mountain and yeah. trying to see. If, if, if you want to see the 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 the, le the time Mango least wanted to shake my hand was right here. Dude. He just. Because that, <laughs> he at, fuck, at that for good reason too. Dude. At that point, the for, th the three peats dead. Yeah. The the hype. The, the three peats dead. Right. I, losers quarterfinals. So you still had. But uh, to go after who them. who set Mango to lose this tournament? I don't recall. Um, it could have been PPMD. Because PPMD, you who was was I, it PPMD? In my research, you faced PPMD after this, but I'm not sure. It might have been Plup. Depending on who we lost to, depending. On, oh, was it Plup? I think it might have been Plup. Okay, if if Plup beat in this tournament and Armada won, I think, I think even if Mango would have beaten me, I, not sure if we won the, won the tournament because Armada was super hot, and Plup was super hot. So. Oh, Plup was playing Samus, and then Crunch right here. Uh, I, 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 I was hamming it up here because I was so tired of one shit. But that's awesome though. Like, fuck I was the like, crowd. Say, uh, talk your shit. Like, as a YouTuber and a streamer, there are times when you have to say, just fuck the crowd. And that's how you can truly sell Yeah, they were, they, they were booing me, and I'm basically saying, suck, like, my. <laughs> oh my dude. Hey, you almost beat Armada right there. Oh, it was game five! <laughs> Darn, if only I had another chance at Armada for an Evo win. Well, you did. Super just hard time, so I'm I'm actually really happy though that you that you had included this because it's accurate. It's you are so talented what you do that you found this accurately. James P and X, thanks for the tier one sub. Son of a melon, thanks for the two gifted. So battle of five guys, this is a tournament you won. I was wor yeah, I was working full time, so I had to miss the first day. So again, no footage of us all fight together in the room. It's somewhat fitting though, because yeah. you've always kind of been the one that didn't quite fit in with the rest. Yeah, and the one time we were all about to reunite was Genesis, and our model lost his passport. Damn. But this is just this is annoying I, yeah, to listen to. I, I, I hated I hated this argument a lot. Um, I don't I know this could be a whole other type of video of just like people saying, oh, the reason no one plays public is just boring. A, I don't think she's boring at all. I think it's. Just, really f***ing hard to actually beat top foxes like if you if you want to see like i I, I'll, I will always I'll, I'll always say this like if you want if you really think that what i do doesn't take work what i do is just me being carried by a character like by all means you're allowed to play puff just go for it grind puff for even like two years and then go and Attempt to beat a, a good fox player five times in a row. I mean, do you, do you think that like a um, Leffen or a, or a Plup you know, or Mango? Do you think that people haven't tried? I mean, they have. It's just like people want to be the best. She's a good character. Want to win I'm, in, uh, in the game. I'll always say she's a she's a great character. And in but Mayweather. before we continue here, I yeah. just want to make this greater point about this plays into sort of the theme of the video, where melee likes to pride itself on like fast paced gameplay. Yeah, and therefore it has to look down on sort of slower defensive gameplay mm. but like in a vacuum slow like patient tactical gameplay is not boring a lot of melee players get caught up on the idea of showmanship where it's an insecurity i feel that exists in the melee community because they've never been shown like third party support so they feel like they have to take it upon themselves to provide the most entertaining product possible mm. And that basically means, like, oh, no camping. Whereas no, in other sports, no, it's kind of like your, your goal is to win. Get the ring, right? That's, that's the goal. I actually find that in, like, a lot of fighting game communities, a lot of players respect you because I, I'm just saying this based on what I've heard from other people, so it might not be true. But, like, a lot of fighting games, your play style is, like, the meta. Right. Where you have, to, what, be, you have to be patient and just, like, bait right. the person and wait for them to make a mistake. So it, it's weird that, like... Like a lot of these fighting game top fighting game players in other communities respect you more than I've heard that. many people yeah, I've in heard the melee that. community. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've definitely heard that for a while. Uh, they, they, because they, when you Street Fighter, this the conceptually has been around for so long. Just like the two people fighting, and like you, you can't always go aggro. In fact, you you simply can't. You play to win. That's the thing. It's a competition, man. Right, right. You can be a showman or you can't be, but the point is these people strap in. 
for many hours and countless other hours practicing, they don't do it. It's not fun to like grind and practice. Like I'm sorry, it's not like a yeah. casual game. It's a competitive game. That bar none. That is the bottom line. You play to win. I think you're glad that I put this part in the video, right? Because it makes people realize. Because you had your whole speech at Summit about this and. In my video, this part is dedicated to the fact that Melee is just getting screwed. For how, for how entertaining it is, how many viewers it draws, it just sucks. But, that's how it is, you gotta just make do. This, 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 uh, this is the part of the video. This, this factoid. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this, maybe we'll get another viral clip. What's wrong with this picture? You know what's wrong with it? On the right side, nothing. That's a that's a community reinvesting into its own esports division, garnering more sales because of it, because it's perfect and everyone wins. What's wrong over here? Everything. Because there is no reason for Nintendo to not throw in a hundred measly K in their terms into a tournament to gain more exposure into the esports scenes, to sell more copies of Ultimate. Screw it. If it's, if it's only Ultimate, I'll be happy with that. Yeah. But how are you not going to put in money into the esports scene a scene, by the way, they created N Nintendo Versus. They created a division in Nintendo to embrace, to lift the platform for esports. So why is there no prize pot? I hate reading tweets to say, oh, f Melee, like, move on. What can we move on to? Yeah. I'm going I'm to soapbox this again really quick. What? Thank you, Mathtron, for the gift. Dude, what can melee players move on to if there isn't a melee too? What PM? No, it's banned. What are we gonna move on to? Brawl isn't melee. Smash Four isn't melee. Ultimate isn't melee. They're all respectively, you know, depending on what you think about it, different and good fighting games. There's no melee too, so stop telling us to move on from something we can't f move on from. That's like telling, oh, it's a sinking ship. Jump out the next ship. What ship is it? There isn't. So we have to go ahead and swim and yeah. push this ship back up and use our own feet paddles it, to get it, back it's up. A pretty, it's a pretty ignorant viewpoint. I think a lot of people mean it more figuratively where... Because there, there aren't any competitive communities that are as big as Melee that have been around for as long as Melee. It's, yeah. it's unprecedented. What, StarCraft 1 maybe is the only one I can think of? Yeah, you have to go back to something like, I guess, competitive Tetris to yeah, find something... Yeah, that's true. Tetris is still is like, is it, big now. It's weird to think that Melee will could become like that in the future where it's just this big legacy game. CSGO. Or yeah. Counter-Strike, right? But like, like Counter-Strike in general has been around for a while, but CSGO, well, that came out in like 2011, 2012. Uh, League of Legends came out in 2009. Quake, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of games like this, but like in terms of viewership, I think Melee is at the top of that, right? It's because most esports community, they have that expectation where they do get sequels. Yes. <laughs> and... <laughs> Hey, chess. Baseball. Yes, yes, guys. Sports. Chess hasn't had a balance patch in like <laughs> thousands of years. Hopefully, one day, Melee will learn to appreciate Hungrybox while they still can, because there will never ever be another player like him. Ironically, this was after the crab. The rare Hungrybox chant. Oh, that's yeah. How, oh, it was, it was from there, yeah. That's when people realized. It was, it was the turning point. Alright, you can. My guy, that documentary was super sick. Thank you for that. You can skip the ad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Shout save is entitled. Help me with the research on this video. This was, yeah, this was a documentary. Guys. Crab.